और कैसे हो भाई लोगों यहाँ पे फूफे की गांड फट गई लेरिस एंजर में कमिन आई विद एन इमरजेंसी वीडियो बिकॉज वी गॉट सम ब्रांड न्यू लीग फॉर जी टी एस दैट्स राइट वी ऑल्सो वी ऑल्सो गॉट न्यूज बाउट द पी एस फाइव प्रो एंड सिंगज आर नॉट टॉकिंग बाई यो मैन इज द गेम गो ना बी थर्टी एफ पी एस ऑन द नॉर्मल पी एस फाइव Is it gonna be 60 FPS on the PS5 Pro? What is going on? Like and subscribe. Love you all for all the support on the channel. Let me send you some kishi and uh, roll this. The PS5 out. Pro is likely to come this year, and this is largely because GTA 6 is coming next year. Yeah. That's what an analyst told CNBC this week. Sony is likely to release a refreshed version of the PlayStation 5 this year after yeah. the company cut its forecast for sales of its flagship. Yeah, this is all of us right now. How many of you guys bought PlayStation Day One, or how many of you actually? Yeah, this would be a real good question, right? How many of you just ended up buying those? <laughs> PS5 Pro coming out this year. <laughs> Wake up, honey! PS5 Pro coming out. Console analysts also said the move would be designed to boost interest in the PlayStation 5 and offer a souped-up piece of hardware ready for release of GTA 6 in 2025, one of this decade's most hotly anticipated games. I truly hope the game comes out in 2025 because earlier they said the fiscal 2025, now they say calendar 2025, uh, and Sega's、so、are believing that it's not gonna come out like early 2025. Now it's gonna be like after. April, right? Can be September, October, and, and if these things、like, somehow delayed to 2026, then bro, like if that happens, I'm gonna become a monk and settle myself on mountain in Tibet on December 32nd of 2025. If we do not have this game next year, okay? First released in November 2020, Sony's PlayStation 5 is、Wait、now more、it? than three years old. The Japanese、Holy. gaming giant cut its forecast last week for PS5 sales for the fiscal year ending in March from 25 million units to 21 million units. An executive、mm. said last week during the company's earnings call that Sony is expecting a gradual decline in unit sales from the next fiscal year. When this、okay. has happened in past console cycles, gaming firms have looked to bring out a refreshed piece of hardware to reinvigorate sales. For example, what would you guys really think? On this one, right? Do you think we need more consoles or more games? Like, think about it, right? Like the PS3, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, and Xbox One era was so good. Not talking about the consoles, obviously. Like 360 was a, a better console than PS3. PS3 games were amazing too. PS4 was overall objectively better than Xbox One. But the games that we had around that time were just phenomenal. You cannot even compete with them. Not denying Spider-Man 2,、uh, God of War, Horizon—they are good games too. But the quantity is like very low. You guys feel like that we need a new console, or you feel like that we need more games? I would 110% would go、uh, will go with more games because yeah, PS5 Pro is coming out, and I guess the main reason to buy would be GTA 6. I'm doing YouTube, so I sadly gotta buy right. Sadly, guys, I gotta buy. Now I'm saying cannot even afford a pencil out here, so I, I gotta. You know, save up some money and、uh, get it when that that comes out. But I kind of have a feeling that these suckers are really gonna boost up the incentive of you buying a PlayStation 5 Pro by making the game 30 FPS though on the normal PS5. I just have that feeling. I'm seeing like a lot of people talk about this. What are your thoughts? Obviously, this is like us assuming, and people are people are talking about on the internet. This is not a rumor. This doesn't mean it's gonna happen. But let's be real, man. Imagine Lucia Burna. For 30 FPS on normal PS5, bro. Example: Sony launched a pro version of the PlayStation 4, the previous generation console, around Wait, three、what? years after the PS4 was initially launched. So that's why analysts are now expecting a PlayStation 5 Pro from、analysts. Sony. There seems to be a broad consensus in the game industry that Sony is indeed preparing a launch of a PS5 Pro in the second half of 2020. Yo, my guy be looking like Mr. Beast, bro.、Uh, not Mr. Beast. What am I saying? Mr. Bean right now. 24. Sir Kentoto, CEO of Tokyo Bay. Yo, he looks like Mr. Bean. What are the odds? What are the odds? Damn, son. This is a Sir Kentoto. More like Bean Toto, though. Best games consultancy Kantan Games told CNBC, and Sony will want to make sure to have a great piece of hardware ready when GTA、yeah. 6 hits in 2025.、Damn. A launch that will be a shot in the arm for the entire. Strong, independent. Higher gaming industry. So far, Sony launched. I honestly feel like that the scene with the sisters that you see on the beach right here, like holy crap, bro! Like this is gonna put your PlayStation 5. Normal PS5 and normal Xbox Series X to coma, though, guys. Let's be real. Let's be real. There's so many sisters out here. So much is happening right here. Sister running, sister walking, sister showing. Like, I mean, like, damn. So then, sister be doing the haram out here. But, but you, you know what I mean, right? Like, god damn. Like, I feel like that our console is gonna go into coma, though. Six hits in 2025. A launch that will be.
PS5 last year as well as a handheld console called the PlayStation Portal, but the PS5 Pro would likely be a much bigger upgrade. Even as expectations of a new console rise, Sony is grappling with a big issue. The profit margins at its key gaming business are sitting near decade lows. On the earnings call, Sony management said the aim for its gaming business is to optimize sales with a greater emphasis on the balance with profits. Yeah, that sister is probably gonna run at 15 FPS on the normal PS5 and Xbox Series X, guys. George Jijashvili, senior principal analyst at Omdia, said this could mean that even when the PS5 Pro comes out, Sony yeah. may not cut the price of the current PS5, oh, as has dang. been the trend in the past. Therefore, dang. a scenario where Sony launches a PS5 Pro, but still experiences declining year-on-year -year hardware sales... Then, then why would anybody buy PS5? Yeah, surely, like, at that point, like, nobody would want to get PS5. Like, you put a, a little bit more and get yourself a PS5 Pro instead, and that is for people that don't have PS5. But if the prices are going to be same, then what? Okay, what is the price for PS5 right now? I feel like that when it came out, it was 500. Right now, I'm assuming... I don't know, like, I'm taking a guess. 400, maybe? But that's like a maybe, though. Is very Anybody much knows? within the realms of possibility, Jijashvili said. PS5 Pro release date rumors pointing to a 2024 release have been swirling for some time now, but timing yeah. it for the launch of the next Grand Theft Auto game, sure to be one of the best PS5 games ever, would seem like a great opportunity for Sony to show off what this amazing hardware can do. There's yeah. some talk among people in the industry that the current PS5 might only manage to run GTA 6 at there, 30 there. frames. There, there we are. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know what I'm saying? Like, I did not watch this video before. I skimmed through it. Um, and, and yeah, people are truly... And in fact, like, for the for the longest amount of time, we have been joking on the channel. And you know I was joking. But right now, it's getting real right now. This shiz is really getting serious, though. Seconds are really believing it's gonna be 30 FPS. And if it truly turns out to be, like, 30 FPS, my guy, that will be sad. Now, how many of you are gonna be getting PS5 Pro? Now, if it's really 30 FPS on PS5, then make no mistake, it's also gonna be 30 FPS on the Xbox Series X. And we're hearing that Xbox is not doing a mid-gen console. They're likely gonna be doing a true next-gen console in 2026 instead. And PlayStation 6, we're hearing 2027, 2028 right now. According to reports, according to rumors, let's be real. But uh, yeah, if it's really 30 FPS, then man, they're gonna start WW5 in the gaming industry though. For second, which isn't the best quality for such a high-profile game, there might be a performance option to boost the game to 60 so. frames per so. second. But this could mean the game won't look as good, with potential yeah cuts in the game's visual details. This is where the idea of a PS5 Pro comes Yo, in. Yo, this game was so good, man. It's called Detroit Become Human. Amazing game, man. I want, like, another game like this from the same dev team. How many of you guys actually played this game? ...into play. That console could offer the extra power needed to run games like GTA 6 with the highest quality graphics and performance. We're talking uh -huh. about playing games in 4K resolution, with smooth gameplay at 60 frames per second, and with all the fancy visual effects like ray tracing, which makes the game lighting look incredibly... To be honest, like, I'm an easygoing guy bro i would be happy if the game actually works well and the game got good content at 1080p 60 fps guys I'm a very easy going guy. Give me 60 FPS and 1080p and I'm happy. Dog. Realistic. It's also possible that Sony and Rockstar Games might be working together behind the scenes, a collaboration that makes sense given the dynamics of the gaming industry. Companies like Sony and Microsoft often provide development kits to game studios, yeah. allowing them to optimize their games for both current and upcoming console hardware. This practice ensures that games can fully utilize the capabilities of the hardware, providing the best possible experience for gamers. In the case of GTA 6, a game that's expected to push the boundaries of open-world gaming. It's possible that Rockstar might have communicated to Sony the limitations they faced with the current uh, PS5 yeah. hardware. Given the ambition and scale of GTA 6, Rockstar likely aims to include a lot of advanced features and graphical enhancements that could strain the capabilities of the existing consoles. Features such as highly detailed... Yeah, th I mean, this area... I mean, listen, man, we would be lucky to see wit witness this area running at, like, 15 FPS on the normal PS5, though. <laughs> Like, look at, I mean, looks like that I show speed is celebrating his birthday right now, you know? So, I mean, like, damn! It's probably gonna be, yeah, man, this area alone is gonna take 200 gigabytes on your on your PlayStation or Xbox, guys. ...environments, complex AI behaviors, and advanced physics, combined with cutting-edge graphical effects like ray tracing and 4K resolution, Dang. require substantial processing power and graphical capabilities. This scenario could have led to a discussion between Rockstar and Sony about the need for more robust hardware to fully realize the vision for GTA 6. A new, more powerful PS5 Pro would not only benefit Rockstar by allowing them to showcase GTA 
GTA 6 in yeah. its full glory, but also serve Sony's interests. I think the gameplay that they might reveal is probably gonna be from PS5 Pro, right? Because a lot of people believe that this summer we're surely gonna see the game gameplay because the game is gonna come out next year right if they delay it then then probably we're not gonna see but i i guess it's safe to say that this year we're gonna see its gameplay that we're gonna see its first gameplay guys i mean listen man my me and my homies we waited for this second guys we waited for this game dog for a decade sheesh man for a decade plus you suckers are crazy y'all suckers need your ass beat up right now in gta 6 allegedly but i think it's safe to say that we're gonna see the game this year and PS5 Pro is probably what they're gonna use. Or PC, normally they would use PC, but since the game is not for the foreseeable future only, since the game is not coming out on PC, I think they wanna probably use PS5 Pro instead of PS5, right? Because it's gonna look a little bit better, right? But recently, we had a ton of gameplay leaks, guys. Click on this video on the screen, and I'll see you right there. Check this out, man. Don't sleep on this one, bro.